Hi everyone. Today we will see the next question paper that is facing 0, 6 to 5 bar 12. Paper 1, multiple choice score. Past paper, May, June 2023. So first question is, which single apparatus is used to find the volume of solid cube and which single apparatus is used to find the volume of a quantity of liquid. So volume of a regularly shaped object that will be equal to V is equal to length into breadth into height for a cube. So this can be measured with the help of a ruler. And the volume of liquid may be obtained by pouring it into a measuring cylinder. So with the help of a measuring cylinder, you can find the volume of liquid. So the right answer, volume of solid cube that can be find out with the help of ruler. And liquid means it is measuring cylinder. So the right answer will be D. Next question. The speed time graph represents a short journey. Which distance time graph represents the same journey? So here we can see it is uh, due to acceleration. The speed graph is due to acceleration. So in this four graph it is given distance time graph. So when it is accelerating the distance time graph it will be increasing exponentially with respect to time for acceleration. So the right answer is B. It will keep on exponentially increasing with respect to time in the case of accelerating graph. Next, the graph represents the motion of a car. So, in y-axis speed is given and x-axis time is given. So how far has the car moved between 0 and 5? So what is the distance? So fi for finding the distance traveled, D, we need to calculate the area under this graph. So it is a triangle, right angle triangle. So you can make it as half b into h the area under this graph will give the distance and b can be equal to 5 and height is equal to 10. So the answer is 5 into 5 25 as it is distant, the unit is meter. So we know this unit of speed will be meter per second. And time it is second. Second and second will get cancelled. And the answer will be 25 meter. That is C. Next, which statement about mass or weight is not correct. Mass and weight that can be measured with the help of a balance. Mass can be compared using balance. Weight also can be compared using balance. Actually, mass means it is a measure of matter in the body. It is not force. And weight is actually force. So, these all statements are right. So, our question was which is not correct. So, the answer is B. Mass is a force. This is the wrong statement. Next. 
Next, which two quantities must be known to determine the density of a material? So, density can be written as density equal to mass by volume. So, density depends on mass and volume. So, here the right answer is B, mass and volume. Next, two boys are sitting on a seesaw. The seesaw is in equilibrium and remains horizontal. What affects the momentum of each boy about the pivot? We know the moment. momentum will be equal to force into perpendicular distance from the pivot. So, Force that is in turn depending on weight. So here the right answer is distance from the pivot. It depends on the distance from the pivot. It doesn't depend on the height. It depends on weight but not only weight. The right answer is his weight and distance. That is F into perpendicular distance. That is weight. F depends on weight. So it depends on the weight and distance from the pivot. Right answer is D. Next, a uniform meter rule is pivoted in equilibrium at 50 centimeter mark. A mass of 25 gram is placed at the 30 centimeter mark on the road. What is the smallest mass that can be placed on the road to restore equilibrium? So you are having a rule. It is a uniform rule pivoted in equilibrium at 50 centimeter mark. Let this be 0. Let this be 50 centimeter. So, at around 30 centimeter, a weight of 25 gram is there. So, for restoring equilibrium, what is the smallest mass? So, for finding smallest mass, we need to take the maximum distance. So, here it is that equilibrium means the total length of the rule will be 100 centimeter. And from this point to this point, it will be 50 centimeter. So, we can equate the clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment. So, here, force into perpendicular distance from the pivot. This is force 25 gram into perpendicular distance. Is, this is 30. Up to here, it is 50. So, this length it will be 20. So, 25 into 20, that is equal to, we need to calculate the weight x. The mass need to be calculated. So, x into 50. So, x is equal to 25 into 20 divided by 50, 0, 0, this will be 5 times, 5 into 2, that is 10. So, the right answer will be 10 grams B. So, we will go to next question. A uniform beam XY is 100 centimeter. So the total length it is 100 centimeter long and weighs a 4 newton. So the weight of this beam is 4 newton. Weight is given as 4 newton. The beam rests on the pivot at 60 centimeter from end X. A load of 8 newton hangs from the beam at 10 centimeters from the end X. 
So from here to this pivot, the length will be. From here to here, it is 60. So from this one to this one, that is 60 minus 10, that is 50. 50 centimeter. The beam is kept balanced by the force F acting on the beam 80 centimeter from the end X. So what is the magnitude of force F? We need to find the magnitude of force So, the weight of the beam itself, which acts at its center, that is 10 cm. This is the center of the beam. That is from 10 cm from this pivot. Exerts a clockwise moment. So, this clockwise moment will get added up with this moment. So, we can write it as the weight of the beam, the clockwise moment provided by the weight of the beam will be equal to 10, that is from pivot to center of the beam, into mass of the beam is weight, the weight of the beam is 4 newton, 10 into 4 plus next clockwise moment will be 8 newton into 50, 50 into H. That will be equal to the anti-clockwise moment that is from pivot to this length. It will be equal to from here up to here it is 80, up to here it is 60. So this length will be equal to 20. So F into 20. So 40 plus 15 to 8 that is 400 is equal to F into 20. So 440 is equal to F into 20. So F can be written as 440 divided by 20 that is 22. So the right answer is 22 Newton. We move to next question. Three children's toys X, Y and Z are the same size and shape. They have weight at different positions inside. So that the position of the center of gravity of each toy is different. Each toy's center of gravity is small P. So for X it is downside near the point of contact. Y it is around the middle and Z it is on the top. Which toy is most stable? Which toy is least stable when balanced in the position shown? So when the point of contact is when the point of contact is near the weight, the stability will be more. So, we can tell X is more stable as the point of contact it is near the weight and y, Z will be less stable as it is far from the point of contact. So, the right answer will be B. That is, X is more stable and Z is least stable. Next, the diagram shows the energy stores for a mobile phone and how the energy is transferred between stores. So, here chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. That is, here electronic circuits are there. The electrical work is getting done. That is again converted to internal. That is heat and kinetic energy. Now, so 
to the right answer. What describes how the chemical energy is transferred? So the right answer is electrical work done. Next, a moving object is brought to rest by a resistive force of 50 Newton over a distance of 5 meter. What is the work done by the force? So, work done is equal to force into distance. That is 50 Newton into 5 meter. That will be equal to 250 joules. So, the right answer is B, 250 joules. Next, which two physical quantities must be used to calculate the power developed by a student running up a flight of steps? So, the power of a device is the work it does per second. So, power depends on the work done per second. That means time. Work done and time. So, the right answer is it depends on work done and the time taken only. Next, a rectangular block, marble block, has dimensions 1 meter by 1 meter by 5 meter and weighs 1 lakh 25,000 Newton. The marble block is stored with the long side resting on the ground as in diagram 1. What is the change in pressure on the ground due to the block when the block is stored as in diagram 2 rather than diagram 1? So, we need to find which is exerting more pressure. So, pressure is equal to F by force by area. So, in the case of first diagram, the pressure can be written as force that is already given 1,25,000 Newton divided by area. So, it will be 5, 1 into 5 that is 5 meter square. And for the second case, pressure can be written as force divided by, here the area is just 1. So, here the answer will be 25,000. And here it will be 1,25,000. So, we can see here, this exerts more pressure. That is, it is 1 lakh more than, here it is just 25,000 and here it is 1,25,000. So, it is diagram 2. There exerts more pressure. It is 1 lakh more than this diagram 1. So, the right answer is an increase of 1 lakh Newton per meter square. Next, four students describe the phrase absolute zero during a lesson on the particle model. Which student is correct? So, absolute zero means it is the lowest temperature possible. At absolute zero, molecular motion ceases and the substance has no internal energy. So, it is the lowest possible temperature. So, the answer is A, lowest possible temperature. At the surface of a liquid, the more energetic molecules can escape from the liquid into the atmosphere. 
so which name is given to the process so when an when the molecules are escaping from the liquid we can call it as evaporation so the right answer is c evaporation next a teacher put some cold water in a test tube she hold the bottom of the test tube while heating the top so it is cold water inside so this tip is been heated the water at the top boils but she continues to hold the test tube as the bottom remains cold so which conclusion about water is made from this experiment so the question is what is your conclusion from this experiment they are not asking the property of water we need to give a conclusion from this experiment so here it is getting heat the water is getting boiled but here it is still cold that means this water is not contacting that is the inference from this experiment so what will be the right answer that is a water is a bad conductor next the diagram shows a waveform so what are the amplitude and the wavelength of this waveform so amplitude means from the zero crossing point to maximum distance what is the peak value that will be the amplitude that is 3 cm so amplitude is 3 cm and wavelength means from one node to next node you can calculate in that way or the distance so one full cycle that is here it is given 4 cm half wave is 4 cm the so full wave will be 8 cm in either way it can be calculated so the wavelength is coming 8 cm so the right answer is b amplitude tree and wavelength 8 cm next a light stray ray strikes a plane mirror and is reflected which angle is always equal to the equal in size to the angle of reflection so angle of incidence and angle of reflection are always equal so this is your normal ray this is angle of incidence and this will be angle of in reflected so these two will be if it is hitting on a plane mirror this angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection so which angle is always equal in size to the angle of reflection so it is, will be equal to angle of incidence angle of incidence means the angle between incident ray and normal so the right answer is b the angle between incident ray and normal to the mirror the diagram shows two diverging rays of light passing through a lens and emerging parallel to each other so which label distance is the focal length of the lens so a ray through focus will leave the lens parallel to the principal axis so we can see here it is leaving parallel to the principal axis so the ray is passing through the focus so the focal length will be b from this focus point to mid of this lens so the right answer is d next 
a beam of light consists of yellow and blue light. The beam of light is incident on a glass prism. Which diagram is correct? So here we can see when a beam of light is passing through a prism, it is getting refracted and this violet, blue, it will be deviated more and red, orange, yellow, it is deviated less. So here the right answer will be that is blue is deviated more and Blue is getting deviated more and yellow is getting deviated less. So it is D is the right answer. Next, two devices shown use different types of electromagnetic waves. One is here you can see an X-ray machine. Medical scanning is done with the help of an X-ray machine. One remote controller is there. So, which type of waves are used in these devices? So, for X-ray machine, we'll be using X-rays and remote controller, these electrical appliances using, will be using infrared rays. So, the right answer is C. Next, a boy shouts and hears the echo from a tall building 2.2 seconds later. The speed of the sound in the air is 30 meter per second. How far away the, from the boy is the building? So, as it is echo, we can write the speed will be equal to 2 times the distance divided by t. Or we can write the distance of equation as speed into time divided by 2. So here speed will be equal to 330 meter per second into time is 2.2 seconds and divided by 2. So, second, seconds, this will get cancelled. And 330 into 2.2 divided by 2 will be equal to 363 meter. So, here the answer is there 360 meter. So, the right answer is C, 360 meter. Next. The magnetic field of a bar magnet can be represents, represented by magnetic field lines. Which diagram shows two magnetic field lines correctly? The magnetic lines of force is always from north pole to south pole. So, it will be from north pole and it will be towards the south pole. So, we can see here, check the arrows. So, the right answer is A. It is going out from this north pole and here the arrow is inwards towards south. A plastic road, next question, a plastic road is rubbed with a dry cloth. The road becomes positively charged. Why has the road become positively charged? So, we are having a plastic road that is rubbed, being rubbed with a cloth. So, the charge occurred by the road is positive. So, 
what happened to this road it has lost some electrons some electrons has moved towards this cloth that's why it has a good positive charge if it is gaining electron it will be negative charge it cannot gain neutrons it cannot lose neutrons it has lost some electrons that's why it is positively charged so right answer is c it has lost electrons next which statement about electric current in a conductor is correct in the dc circuit the electric current gradually decreases along the conductor dc means it is a constant current actually this is the graph for dc with respect to time it is a constant current and this will be the graph for ac is varying with respect to time so this uh, this is wrong next in a dc circuit free electrons flow back and forth it will not happen that's also wrong in an ac circuit the electric current remains exactly same all the time it is fluctuating it is varying so this is also wrong in an ac circuit the flow of charge changes continuously that is right the flow of charge will be changing continuously in the case of ac circuit so the right answer is b next which circuit can be used to measure the resistance of a resistor so for measuring resistance we can use ohm's law so in ohm's law we need two parameters that is voltage and current so if we know the voltage and current we can find the resistor value so for finding voltage we need a voltmeter for finding current we need a meter so for finding current using a meter you need to connect always in series with the circuit and for finding voltage using voltmeter we need to collect connect always in parallel with the circuit so we will check which one is connected whether voltmeter is connected in parallel in this voltmeter and ammeter is connected in parallel so the circuit is strong here you can see voltmeter is in connected in parallel with the resistor ammeter is connected in series so this circuit is right so the right answer is b voltmeter needs to be connected in parallel with the resistor and ammeter needs to be connected in series with the resistor 